Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good day to you, wherever and whenever you're watching. My name is Cap, and welcome back to Minecraft Beta in 2014. And we're going to take it easy. We're going to take it slow. Stripped away of modern Minecraft's adventure content, structures and bosses, we can focus on the original joy of living, building, and playing in Minecraft. So grab yourself a glass of chalky milk, put your feet up, <laughs> and leave the rest to me. Sorry, I had, had a little chuckle there, because um, people have been telling me that I have a... <laughs> I'm that Minecraft guy with the ASMR voice. I don't do it intentionally. It's just... It, it just kind of happens. Anyway, um... I tried so hard to relax. <laughs> I even started fishing. It's always funny to me when people put it that way. It's like... You're not relaxed enough. Try harder. I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> That's not how it works. And this shows up another quirk of uh, multiplayer in Minecraft beta. No fishing lines. Just, just... Just no line. You just don't get one. It's broken. <laughs> There's really nothing to fishing in this version. You just... Sometimes you get a fish, sometimes you don't. And there's only one kind of fish. And you probably noticed, but I haven't caught any yet. And that's... I don't know how the depth of the water affects fishing, but there's... There's something there. Oh, it's got to be closer. I see. This chicken just wants in on the action. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> get off my lure. Oh, and, and, there are, and there are cows knocking the camera. There, we good. Cool. And I'm cooking some fish. Now, there's a bit of a problem with the Arboretum. These logs mean that the leaves don't despawn properly. So I'm going to need to address that. Yeah, so you can see here I got rid of some trees and the leaves remain. When there are tree trunks, the leaves stick around, so I don't think I could use tree trunks here. Instead, I was thinking I could stick with something dark like spruce planks. Because there are three kinds of wood in this version of Minecraft. Normal oak, uh, birch and spruce, that's it. I know there's some spruce over there because I saw it when I first logged in. I was kind of hoping for a, a long journey and some exploration, but... <laughs> They're right here. So no worries. This sand is also much closer than the other sand, but it is a beach. I don't like ruining the looks of beaches. Uh, I'd rather go to a sandy inland place and make like a, a quarry. Let's make sure we replant like a good Minecraft citizen. saplings. Oh, there's one. I 
Look how many animals have just spawned at my base. <laughs> Dang. This is what, like I said last episode, you really, you don't need to gather animals and breed them. It's completely unnecessary. <laughs> Please ignore the man in the sky. Okay, let's um, sort this out. By removing these logs, and replacing them with... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, we don't... We don't get spruce logs. We get... Oh, we don't get spruce planks, I mean. There's only one kind of plank. Well, that changes things. I think planks are okay. Look, look at it like this. I... I think... Glass... Might also be cool. Let's get rid of these first. This is alright. Planks and little windows. Now the interior bit. Let's get rid of these first. So we should now see some leaves decaying. Like they're supposed to. Excellent. Oh, that... That, that top... Uh, top window. There we go. Also, I've noticed the torches I placed, uh, they've all fallen down. <laughs> just as I thought, the leaves just, the leaves just eat them up. It's okay, it doesn't need to be very bright up there. Which means we're just gonna see we're just gonna see uh, saplings peering and then glitching up and down for a bit. <laughs> looks looks kind of fun though. That's a that's a fun little effect. I think I'm gonna extend this. I'm gonna have a spruce room and a birch room. And I put a little chest in the floor here, so that I can, uh, I can keep saplings. In search of more relaxing ways to spend my time, I thought I'd remind myself how boats work. They don't handle the same way as modern Minecraft. You do use W, A, S and D, but it depends which way your camera's pointing. And uh, when you get out of the boat, there's a strong chance you'll accidentally knock it, and it will just keep floating forever. Still, I thought I'd, I'd like to use boats sometimes. So why not make a little dock? And build somewhere practical to get in and out of boats and to keep them from floating away. And see where I've lined the edge with cobblestone there? That's, again, that's just my semi-realistic construction frame of mind. If you did have to shape the shoreline like that, you would reinforce it with some, you know, some cobblestone or concrete or something. You wouldn't just leave it as loose earth. These extra posts are to stop the boats floating away because they don't fit through a one block wide gap. And here I go testing it out. It's still not perfect because boats aren't perfect, but it was a lot of fun to make and I think it looks nice. So then I thought I'll join this up to my main base with a pathway. And even though it looks kind of messy, I think gravel's perfect for pathways, especially in uh, Minecraft beta. But I like to play into it a little bit, so there are a couple of little patches there where the gravel's kind of spilled over. And those lead up to some wooden steps, just going up those little tiers up to my front door. 
And then this little detail, I really enjoyed building. It's just a lamppost. But I tinkered with it and I changed a few things and it's still just a lamppost. But I put a lot of thought into it and I think it's a nice touch. I was then interrupted by a phone call and was very lucky to survive the night just standing outside. So I'm quite happy with how the front of my base has turned out. But it's time to move our attention to the back of the base, where so far all I had was a tunnel leading to a, well, not even a door, just a, just a patched up entrance with some dirt. So I thought I'd make something of it, like a room or a conservatory or something. It doesn't have to have a purpose. So I dug and leveled out the area, leaving some of the overhanging earth up above because, like the front, I wanted it to be built into the hillside a little bit. I laid out the foundations and started putting up evenly spaced logs. And then I remembered one of the coolest ways you could decorate a house in Beta Minecraft, and that was with glass. Just floor to ceiling glass windows. As for the roof, I thought I'd try something low profile with slabs or a slab border uh, filled in with planks. I did briefly consider putting in some skylights, but I think it's fine the way it is. When the rain started coming down, I got on with the interior. And I even continued the spaced out wooden pillars design on the inside walls. I seem to be getting a lot of building done today, because I quickly moved on to my next build, which is going to be a storage house for when my friends join in. Shall we bring it down? Yeah, we'll bring it down to this level. Just skim off another layer of dirt, why not? And then where's it going to go? It's like... What's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If that can be the middle... Then this can be the edge. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is going to be the location of the giant chest. Yeah. I'm going to have to just have a real one there for reference. I'm going to need some more wool and some more squids. It's a shame sheep don't regrow their wool. Because it does make this kind of awkward. Ooh, snow. No. It's black wool I need. If I wanted uh, white blocks, I could use snow. Worth considering. Any sheep around? Yeah. No. Back to Minecraft squidding. downwards every time you you go oof scary she <laughs> might as well <laughs> if i get rid of the ones i know it's cruel i know everyone's just like oh I don't kill the sheep um well, not everyone, some people are, but if I leave them around, new ones won't spawn. And they, they don't regrow their wool, so once they have been shorn, they've uh, exceeded their usefulness. 
right, there are some squid just down here. I think. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Should have had some pork chops in my hot bar. Items sink to the bottom. They do not float. Uh, can't see a dang thing. Cannot see a single thing. Here is my stuff. Back to the surface before I get the rest. Oh no. Did I get everything? I think I did. Okay, got all my stuff. Got some ink too. Okay. I need to mark out the height of it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Can I do a clutch ladder save? Ooh, I can. One, two, three, four. A gap of four. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, and one there. So looking at, looking at my reference chest there, that would be like the line between the top part and the bottom part. Okay, it's coming together. And what would the rest of this just be wood? I know it's not like the same colour, but there isn't really anything the same colour. That maybe let's let's have a look at the palette we've got here. We've got dirt, planks, and I've got two types of log. Let me go grab those. Spruce and oak. Those are the four kinds of brown we have. I think it's going to just be between planks and logs, to be honest. Yeah. And maybe the last row under the line can be that. Does that look weird? I don't know. I think it looks weird trying to texture with blocks that are so different in colour. I'll leave it. It's fine. It's gonna look so cool. Ah, oh, those bits around the latch. I think I could use logs for that. There's a YouTube channel that I quite enjoy watching. Um, that I just stumbled across one day uh, on my YouTube recommendations. It's called Drain Cleaning Australia. And the channel is about a guy uh, clearing drain blockages in Australia. <laughs> On the surface, you might think, "What? What is that about? How is that good watching?" Um, it's not about the content. <laughs> it's about the guy doing the video. He's just—he's such a great guy. He's so extremely optimistic. <laughs> It just, it just makes you feel fantastic about it every time. He's always like, Guys, where would you rather be than right here? Where would you rather be, guys? Honestly. Drilling, drilling a chunk of, like, brown slimy toilet tissues out of a clogged pipe. <laughs> oh, my favourite one when he's, uh... Well, my favourite thing when he's looking at, like, the filthiest looking 
grease traps and stuff, and he's just like, "How much for a bite? How much <laughs> for a for a bite? A mouthful." It's terrific background watching. And then you get the satisfaction with him then, when he clears the drain and you see the clean water flowing and you're like, oh yeah, nice one. Top job. <laughs> That's what life's all about. You, you, gotta, you gotta enjoy the little things. <gasps> Pink sheep. The legends were true. I almost don't want to share it. I do though. Now you must die. <laughs> oh. You kind of you kind of have to if you're looking for a specific animal, um because not only can not only can you not breed animals, but um you also have to kill all the ones you don't want. So that the the ones you do want spawn. Gathering up the squids is um, is frustrating, but perseverance and stuff. Dang it! The only way is squids, and squids are so hard to farm. There are so many cows here. I mean, it would be cool if they all just spawned like that. And that's much easier. So, I've had a little bit of feedback from a couple of friends who watch my videos and <laughs> I don't know how to feel about the feedback that I've had. They were all like, Oh, have you seen Cap's videos? He has such an ASMR voice. ASMR voice? Is that a thing? Maybe I should... I should point out it's early morning right now, so this is it's kind of my deeper than usual early morning voice. Maybe I should record more in the mornings. Perhaps I should pander to these G d d Goodness me, that sentence is a mouthful. Perhaps I should pander to these degenerates. <laughs> I'm not... I'm sorry. You're not a degenerate. You're my little pog champ. <laughs> oh dear. I've um I've gone silly again. Seems to happen a lot lately. I think it was that April Fools video. It it just made me silly. And and now I can't unsilly myself. <laughs> I keep going off task. Squids. Focus on the squids. I'm lost underwater because I can't see. I'm drowning. That is a good excuse to build a farm though, isn't it? I need one million billion of a specific thing and collecting it is very tedious. And time consuming. And rather than gathering all the resources in one go, and then building it in one go, I'm doing... <laughs> I'm, uh... Making sure I get a constant drip feed of dopamine by, um... Placing what I've got before continuing. So this is that part, and then we're working on the lid. Maybe I could do something crazy, like, um... Like the lid section of the chest could be made of glass or something. Ooh! Oh, saved it. So I got down to the grind. Grinding up materials, building a little bit more, grinding more materials and so on. But I don't mind doing that because I know that 
This world, this server, is timeless. It exists outside the timeline of current Minecraft updates and fleeting excitement and new features. I think this server is going to be up longer than any other that I've played on. Ah, this is where I started uh, experimenting with the latch. I kept, I keep going down the ladder to look at my existing chest to like compare the pixels and try and get something looking authentic from a distance. Anyway, I'm going to fill this up with, uh, with storage so that I can start inviting new people onto the server. One such person has already started building something, which caught my eye in the distance. There is a thing over there. Uh, I need a boat. Always bring a spare in case your first boat breaks, which it will. Oh, oh, hold on. Right, so look over there and just push the boat over there. The thing is, the direction of the boat is determined by the direction of your camera, but when the boat turns, it also turns your camera. So that makes the whole thing a bit tricky. So the, yeah, and, <laughs> and that. <laughs> um, ah, this must be Codex's place. See, I've started inviting friends on here. Cozy little cave, of course. You gotta look. You gotta look in the storage, haven't you? It's nosy, but you you gotta. And what's this she's building? A chicken. Tr a tree house. <laughs> I thought that was like the legs, and this was like that was the head of a bird, and that was the body. <laughs> A wooden chicken. No, it's it's a tree house. It's gonna have leaves on it. This is cozy. Sweet. Yeah, this is uh, this is my long-term goal: is get some friends on here get the building stuff and then there'll be stuff they can't be stuff if there aren't people and that chest over there is going to be kind of general storage for everyone like communal storage so I'll be able to say to someone whatever's in the giant chest you you just go ahead I don't mind I, I thought you could scoot along ice. It turns out, no. No, you can't. Uh, nor can I get out of this boat. Am I stuck in the boat? I'm stuck in the boat. Guess I'll just have to... gradually inch my way towards the water. Almost there, nearly, almost in the water, just hanging on by the edge. We're in the water! <laughs> oh, that was agonizing. Ooh. See, you've got a... I guess you can strafe. You can use A and D to go go sideways. But if you how do you how do you get out of this boat? Oh, you right click. Oh, okay. That's why I couldn't get out. Well, it's gone now anyway. <laughs> then I logged off for a long time. But when I came back, see what Codex has been up to. 
Ooh. We've got another portal. Ah, and the treehouse is finished. Nice. Let's go take a look, see if uh, if this boat will move. <laughs> ah, here we go. We got a portal. We've got a. Is that a little minecart track? Cool. You can ride back and forth. Glass on it as well. Oops. <laughs> Boats. So we've got a, a way to the nether. Little minecart track. Ooh, a little pier. What is that in the distance? <laughs> She's done. <laughs> She's done our faces. Oh, that's cool. I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> and the tree house. Oh wait, there's a sign. Always got to read the signs. Welcome to Phoenix Pier. Casa Codex. Very cool, very cool. There's the doggo. Foodie nom noms. Love to see it. And other stuff. We got... I, I like this. This feels very treehousey. Dirt. <laughs> oh, nice little window. Can we go up there? Uh, I think the intention is to is to be able to go up there. Ooh. Well, this is awkward. And and this is the top. Uh, you could stand on the trapdoor. Cool. <laughs> this is nice, though. It's a nice little treehouse. I want to see more like this. There's see we one ex one extra person on the server. One friend joins the server, and we've got a treehouse. We've got a pier. We've got some faces. I think that face wall needs to grow. I think. I think we should have the face of anyone who joins. And of course, the giant chest. We've got this portal with a little track. I'm going to go through the portal. I want to see Codex's Mines of Moria. Oh, this was the temporary base. Ah, it's been repurposed. I want to go through this portal and see what the other side looks like. I wonder if she intended this to be like a, a central portal for everyone to use. Oh. oh, it's very dark. Much darker than I remember this being. Oh, and the netherrack texture as well, look at it. It's disgusting. Which is good, it's supposed to be disgusting. This is not meant to be a friendly place. <laughs> This is the thing, when the new netherrack texture came through, a lot of people were like, ah, that's better, it doesn't look so offensive now. Whereas I'm like, is it not the whole point that it looks offensive? It's a zombie pig man, not a zombified piglin. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I don't think there was even quartz in this version, so it's literally just netherrack. And I think the only useful resource you can get from here is soul sand. Uh, maybe mushrooms. Or glowstone, actually. Yeah, I forgot about glowstone for a second there. And the only mob is zombie pigmen. That's it. And ghasts. Well, maybe we can make something nice of this. Um, make a little uh, portal refuge. And we're back. Back in paradise. Without a boat, because my boat broke. I think we should just make more minecart tracks. 
There's minecart tracks everywhere. Maybe I can develop some kind of redstone powered switching system or something. Right, well. <laughs> I will. I'll catch up with you all very soon on how all of this is doing. Um, I'm really glad I got the chest finished. On the outside, at least. And next time, we're going to build a storage system in there of some description. I know that you can't make anything automated, but there will at least be a system of bulk chest storage in there. Um, and hopefully more friends on the server. I want to introduce you to these friends as well, because you've seen you've seen what Codex has built, but you haven't seen Codex yet. And uh, and get a few more friends in here as well. Start filling this server with wonderful buildings and nice looking things we could we could build stuff like a like a, a spleef arena <laughs> a minecart network with with stations and um oh maybe even a nether hub for for quick travel long distances <laughs> It's uh, endless possibilities. Anyway, do all the YouTube things. Click subscribe. It's free. It costs you nothing to there. It costs you nothing to subscribe to this channel, and it helps me greatly. And also, click that like button if you liked it. I'll see you all next time, whenever that may be. Bye for now. <laughs>